Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another day of showing you how I am going to build my food plan for the day so that I can make sure to hit my caloric goals and my macronutrient goals, you know, those fancy proteins, fats, and carbs. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build today's plan to hit those numbers. I do these every day and I thought, hey, if I'm doing them, why not just record it, throw it up on YouTube, and maybe somebody else, it'll help somebody else figure out how to put theirs together. So do me a favor, if you find this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button on it, maybe even the subscribe button while you're here. There's a light right here, right across, and it doesn't help when you have a receding hairline and a giant forehead to have a light pointed right at it. So anyways, a um, couple of things that I wanted to mention here is I'm trying to make these videos more interactive. If you see the, the meal plan once it's already built, I think you lose a little bit of those nuances of like how to build it, right? You can see the end result, but I think part of the challenge of building these is actually like the mental process of, well, what kind of food do I still need? How do I need to approach if my day changes in the middle of the day, things like that. So I'm trying to like make these a little bit more interactive and building a part of it and then us finishing it together. So um, I've actually put a couple of things in here already today. Let's go ahead and start my cool app. Um, oops, that's not right. I can get this right eventually. Okay, the app I am using is called My Macros Plus. It's on all of the app stores. It probably costs a couple bucks, but well worth it if it helps you stay consistent um, with your targets, your nutritional targets. So I have a three-step process every single day whenever I do this. The first step of my three-step process is I add in my daily staples. And my staples for me are the things that like I don't have to think about. I don't have to say, well, what am I gonna have at this particular time of the day? For me, my staples are the no-brainers, and that is my pre and my post-workout. They're no-brainers for me because they have the same thing in them basically every day, which is I start with a scoop of whey protein or like protein isolate on my pre-workout and then again on my, my post-workout. And then on my post-workout, I put a couple of gummy bears in there, like a serving of those Haribo gummy bears, not the sugar-free ones that gives everybody diarrhea. These are the ones with a little bit of sugar. Nice post-workout carb boost there. So those are my staples. That's the first thing I add in every single day before I do anything else. The second step of my three-step system is I ask myself, is there something that I want today, like a craving or something, right? Because I know that I've been through that and a lot of you probably been through that when you're, you're in a, a caloric deficit, you, you're watching what you're eating, you feel like you're gonna lose your mind if you're de because you think you're depriving yourself. Well, I can't have the foods that I want. What I found is that by adding in a lot of those cravings at this point here, that it helps me still like keep my sanity. Now, I might put you know a bunch of ice cream here and it might not work out. I might have to reduce the volume of the ice cream once I get to the end of the plan, but at least I'm making an effort to try to put those things in for sanity's sake, right? So that's my second step. I didn't have any cravings today. So then I go to my third step, whether you do have a craving or whether you don't, after you're past that point, you go to step three, which is you just start building your food plan from the beginning of the day or from your first meal and then work your way towards the end. Do not make your plans as soon as you wake up if you're not gonna eat pretty quickly thereafter because what I've learned the hard way is I used to make my plans early and then I would not get a chance to eat till 12 or one. Well. If you build your plan at nine o'clock, assuming that you can eat all day, and then you don't actually start eating till like one in the afternoon, that changes what you have to do. That changes how much volume you have to eat from that point on. So I recommend waiting until the first meal of the day, track that meal, put that in there, and then that sort of becomes your jumping off point there. So that's what I've done here, is I've already actually tracked a couple of meals today. We're gonna build the rest of it from there. So I did a breakfast here, which was um, some liquid egg, liquid egg whites and then a little bit of um, bone broth. That's that chicken liquid bone broth. I just put it in a cup, heat it up for a minute and drink it. And then some avocado toast. And then for my lunch, what I did here is um, some of those Quest chips again that I've been eating like nonstop. Did some broccoli. I did a couple of those buffalo chicken patties, which by the way, I'll show pictures of this at the end of the video. And um, I also put Greek yogurt on the patties as well as Frank's Red Hot Sauce and some zero calorie um, jalapeno mustard. A lot of the mustards are zero calorie. So if you like mustard a lot, like it's a great way to like add some extra flavor to your stuff without blowing out any of your additional calories. So, so that I did my breakfast and my lunch. So here we are, I've got those in there. I got my pre-workouts already in there. So now we have to, I got an itch right there on the side of my nose. I don't know what's going on. I probably have a baby hair. Anyways, so let's finish building this. So this is where we're at right now. And if I look at the top, 
you know, I'm gonna reference the numbers at the top. I still have 1,340 calories remaining that I have, to, I have to fulfill in order to hit my numbers and the macronutrient breakdown from there, my proteins, carbs, and my fats. So what I'm gonna start thinking here is um, I just need to start having something that's high in carb, high in fat, or sorry, high in carb and high in protein, preferably higher in the carb by just a little bit because now my lunch and dinner is done. I mean, it's gonna start getting towards the end of the day and I need to have a lot of this eaten already. So let's start just adding some things here and see how this looks. So for me, I'm gonna start knocking down some of these carbs first. I'm gonna do like a fruit bar for a snack. This is one of those frozen fruit bars. Let's see here, frozen fruit bar for a snack. It's just 15 grams of carbs, but nice little cold snack later in the day. Uh, let's see, what do I wanna do here? Something that's high in protein and, and, and carbs together without a lot of fat. How about a, a um, Quest bar, a protein bar? Those are typically very similar in proteins and carbs. Let's take a look and see what that does. 21 protein, 21 carbs, eight grams of fat. That'll fit nicely and knock down that protein and carbs by just a little bit. One bar there, zip it is that. All right, so now we're down to 1,000 calories remaining. We only just like got rid of like 300 or 400. We got a ways to go. Okay, so we need some, some bulkier type things here, right? Now, this is about the point where I start looking around and figuring out, okay, can I increase the volume of something that I'm still going to be eating? Like for example, I still have to eat my, where my dinner go? Or I didn't put a dinner in. Oh, I did breakfast and lunch. Well, I gotta put a dinner in. That explains part of this. Okay, well, so for dinner, let's do, we need some bulk, we need something big. Let's do a bag of Uncle Ben's rice. That's the whole grain rice at the bottom for dinner. We're gonna put that in. I'm gonna do a full pouch. I'm not gonna do a half, a half pouch. That's not gonna cut it. Not today, it ain't. All right, so that knocked down my carbs by quite a bit. Now I need to start hammering my protein. Gotta keep an eye on my fat. It's down to 16, so I don't wanna start adding more things in that are probably over three or four grams of fat. I wanna really stick strong to the protein here. So I ask myself, what is protein heavy? What do I have? What do I typically eat that's protein heavy? Well, I'm thinking of something like, um, what else can I have for dinner? Some sort of a, a, a deli meat. Um, how about uh, some of that prima della turkey, deli turkey? I've got that on here somewhere, prima della right here in the middle. For dinner, let's do four ounces. I'm gonna do a full four ounces. Just put that in there. That's gonna knock my protein down by a bit, down to 600 calories remaining. So now for dinner, I've got a little bit of, of deli turkey. I've got some, some ham, or ham. <laughs> I've got some rice on the side. What am I going to eat the, uh, the turkey on? Let's put it on a wrap. I got these plain wellness wraps here. Put that for dinner. It's gonna knock down my carbs just a little bit more. I need to stick on my protein though. Protein's lagging behind. I need something that's high in protein and low in everything else. How about some Greek yogurt? Flavored Greek yogurt, that is. Let's see what that's got. 12 grams of protein, eight grams of carbs, higher on the protein side. Uh, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna do that for a snack later. How are we looking? 468, <laughs> driving that down. Now, here's something else I, I often do too. Remember earlier I mentioned my staples, my pre and my post workout, I put one scoop of protein on each of these. Well, if I wanted to get crazy, I can go to my post workout drinks. I haven't had that quite yet and change that from one to 1 1.5 scoops. Not a big deal, but it helps drive that protein down a little bit without adding more food in, especially if you think like, I don't know if I can eat all this for the rest of the day. Look for ways to increase your volume in these situations. 398 calories remaining. I really only wanna to try to deal with about another 150 calories and I'll be happy. My protein's about the same as my carbs. My fat's looking good. So now I just want something kind of, I'm gonna do another bag of protein chips. I've just been eating those things like crazy. They are delicious. 20 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, four and a half of fat, zip, zap. Put that in there. Oh man, that looks good now. That is looking good. 258 calories remaining. Now, if I wanted to, I could add a little bit of something in here and I'm actually gonna do that just cause I can. How about another fruit bar? I got two different flavors of these fruit bars right now. Where's my snack? Change that to two bars. One of them's pineapple, one of them's strawberry. They're both delicious. So look, here's where we're at. And I'm gonna reorder this very quickly so we can get an easier kind of view. So we're looking good here. My overall numbers at the top, about 200 calories remaining. That's perfect. My goal is 2,700. That's my max. My low is 2,500. I'm sorry, 2,400. So I got a 300 calorie swing there. This puts me at about 2,500 right there in my range. I'm looking good. Um, I'm, I 
almost everything's even at the top. My proteins, my carbs, my fats, almost even. I prefer to be a little bit higher on my protein here, but because my overall calories look good, I'm not going to sweat that. And I've got nice full days here. I mean, good sized meals. Got this nice wrap with some rice and turkey for dinner still. I've got some s snacks still to do, a couple of frozen fruit bars, the Quest bar, some yogurt, some chips. This is a really good day. And so this is how this goes, is you build it throughout the day as you can, and you try to, man, what is that? Right there on the tip of my nose. Hope it's not a hanger. And so you just build this, put the, the puzzle pieces in, move some stuff out, change some volume. It's essentially the same sort of process, whether you're doing it for a day's worth or you're doing it for a week's worth at a time. You just change some of this stuff around and um, you know, keep referencing the numbers at the top, put something in, and if it doesn't look right, pull it out, try something else. So that's how today's laid out. It went very well, a pretty standard day for me.